All right, guys, we got to get back to working on this loafing shed. Let's grab the wood and get started. We got the tools, we got the tools, we got the lumber, we got the ladder. Let's get the party started. So we are going to start here by adding a fascia board to cover up these that we cut off here, just to make it one nice solid piece. I think that'll end up looking a lot better when we're done. Measure twice, cut once. We're good. Got this board in place, now let's get it screwed on. I think she's on there good. So I got these front pieces on here. I just think it looks so much better. See, it kind of fills it in. Makes it look good. Come over here, get that side done too. I just think it looks, it kind of cleans it up. Yes, the color of the wood doesn't match right now, but I think with the sun, it'll fade in and it'll look really good. On to putting the trusses, whatever you call it, that run across the top here. We're gonna get those installed right now. So we are back here at the Lowe's Nose Home Improvement to pick up a couple more things so we can get back to working on this loafing shit. 
seeing Jason use his nailers. I plan on building a few more shelters for animals and this would definitely help speed up things. We got what we're looking for here. I'm trying to be a Jason Crocker professional builder. Okay, we found the wood we're looking for. Need one piece. Boom. All right, that board I just put up there. All right, and just like that, Preston ran the nail gun, did a great job, nailed all the boards up there for me. So now we are gonna start with the sheeting on the sides, as far as the metal goes is what I'm talking about. We're gonna sheet the sides, then we're gonna sheet the roof, and then we'll do the back. And then all we have to do is trim it out, and then we'll be done with this bad boy. We gotta start measuring for the metal. Now we're over here where the metal is that we're going to put on the loafing shed. So now we're going to try to go through them here and see, pick the right ones that we can get the most out of. So 86 and 86. Is... If we flip it over, we can trace it a lot better. Here, we're good with just one, Bubba. That's what I was thinking. There. Here. I need to kind of pull, pull, pull. I was kind of pulling up while I was going. Yeah. All right, guys, today is the day we are going to start sheeting this bad boy. I got Preston here with me, my number one uh, helper here. We are going to get started on this right now. So we're just trying to figure out what we were going to do. Already cut one sheet here and uh, we kind of got it mocked up. We decided we are going to go here on the ground here with a one by just to get our gap along the ground there. So let's get this started. So the next one is going to overlap here. If it overlaps here, you put a screw here, and then you would put one here, I guess. I'm gonna put another one right here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a couple of screws in at a time right now just to get everything up, and then we'll come back and then fill the rest with screws. Right there. Yeah, right there. First sheet is up just by a couple of screws, but at least we got an idea of what it's gonna look like. Here's our gap board here. Let's go cut some more sheets. Well, Dad's gonna go measure the shed to get the exact length we need to cut these metal sheets. I'm gonna grab a piece of metal, and bring it over to our cutting space. We got a new tool to cut with. The little nips that we were using really wasn't working well. So, got a little disc right here for my grinder. We're gonna try it this way.
is a brilliant idea. What's that? Yeah. Oh, the helmet? Yeah. That was his idea. We've been kind of doing both sides, so we cut for both sides already. So we just got this side done, and so we're gonna try to get that other side done. You're gonna put on the R panel, and so one more side grinding wheel, and then what the roof? Then we're gonna the go back. to the roof, I believe, and then that should go a lot faster because we cut all the pieces at once because they're all gonna be the same length, yeah. where the ones on the sides are not the same length. We'll cut all those, get those on there, and that should go a lot quicker. And then all we'll have left to do is the back, and then we'll have to get our trim. To trim everything out like i said that's why our cuts aren't really the greatest it doesn't matter it's going to be hidden with trim anyway the other side's going to go a lot quicker too because we've already got the sheets cut we just got to throw them up put some screws in it and then do that cut again remember that one lift yes. I've got boom we got just held up by a couple screws on each one putting the rest of the screws in is easy uh Preston's gonna do some more cutting on the top and the back and we'll see if we can get this side knocked out really quick guys it's a new day the past few days have been really windy and it's kind of hard to hang sheet metal and stuff in the wind but today it's it's a little windy but it's manageable it is very cold we had a pretty decent freeze last night it's currently probably 32 33 degrees but we're up and at them this morning going to get started we are going to start sheeting the roof actually i hope well, I'm just going to say we're going to sheet the roof today, but it'd be nice to sheet the back wall as well. Let's just see how everything goes. Let's get started.
All right, guys, let's get this last sheet up here. And then, like I said, screw, screw, screw. So we got this flap, little overhang, extra material. I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut off. We're gonna use this little nibbler here. I think it'll work great for that since we're going long ways. When we try to use it to go across up and down the valleys, it didn't work very good. That's why we had to go to the grinder. Let's try this this way. That really didn't do a very good job, but we got it cut off. Let's get to screwing. Now that's all the screwing on the back wall and we got it all up. Now we just need to trim this off right here. This time we're gonna use the little Sawzall. It worked pretty good on the front the other day. Broke the blade off where it goes inside here. Gotta put a new blade on. Not the prettiest cut, not the easiest, but we got the job done. So it's not gonna matter anyway, cause we're gonna have trim on these corners that's gonna cover up all that. I think we're gonna call it a day. Got the roof done today, got the back wall done today. Took a little longer than expected. Feel like Jason Crocker doing it on his own. At least we got it done. Take a quick look. Look at that. She is in clothes now. So we got some weather coming in here this weekend. This will be nice to have the shelter for the animals. There should be some, there's supposed to be some wintry mix. So this is gonna be nice. Hopefully they use it. So another thing that I wanna do, I kinda wanna do, don't know for sure if I'm gonna do it. I wanna put metal across this header board here. As hard of a time as I'm having cutting this metal, I don't know that it would look too good, number one. I'll probably end up doing it, just probably not today. That'll be on the next deal. I gotta, like I said, I gotta go buy the trim. All the trims for the front uprights here on the top up here on the sides and then down this back corner and i think we're gonna well i know we're gonna do black 
I think it's going to look really good. But that's going to call it for today. I'm I'm tired. I'm tired. Uh, good weather, though. It ended up turning out nice. It's supposed to have got in the 50s today. I haven't checked the weather. I don't know what it's at right now. But definitely feels good. Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.